Hello and welcome to EV Motoring. I'm Joe and today we're charging a Tesla at Electrify America. Let's see how that's possible. Okay, so I'm here at the Electrify America station and I have this adapter here from Electron. So you see it's the CCS plug right here on this side and it turns into the Tesla plug on that side. So now let me show you really quickly how it works. So we take our adapter here plug it in like that it clicks now we'll open up the Tesla charge port and plug it in and I'll show you the next step so there it's plugged in now we take the Electrify America app over here and we see we are on charger number three so we're gonna come in here find charger number three handle number two and swipe like that and let's see how it initiates so it's obviously a much lengthier process than just using a Tesla supercharger being that I have to activate the charge through all of these steps we'll go ahead and hit continue and uh, see if the charge starts over here on the Tesla we have the thinking light blinking right there I hear some clicking which is always a good sign so there we go look at that so uh, you saw I push this button right here you never want to push it twice some of these screens can be pretty slow but if you accidentally put so you push it once for continue to get to this menu if you happen to push it a second time it stops the charge so I wish they would reorganize where you know some of these menu options are but just be careful when you're doing that we're getting 13 kilowatts now hopefully that should ramp up pretty soon but yeah charging a Tesla here at Electrify America. So now when you hop in the car, you see the charge ramping up. It's uh, holding at 83 kilowatts right now. This is actually just because my battery got pretty cold because I didn't properly precondition it to get here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the two main reasons why you would want to use this adapter uh, instead of just going to a Tesla supercharger. Actually, I guess there's three reasons. One is there are areas, believe it or not, that there are not Tesla superchargers. Not many of them, but if you, uh, this basically just opens up more opportunities for travel, knowing that you can use this adapter to um, get to some local DC chargers that might be in between Tesla superchargers and might just work out with your route plan a little bit better. So, you know, certainly use apps like uh, Better Route Planner and PlugShare to kind of plan out your route that way. Uh, part two is, let's take a look at this map right now. So if I come in here to where we are, we are right off of the highway. This was like as close as physically possible, and we're going on 55 South. It would have been about another mile to two miles, probably so round trip, probably three miles out of the way to go to the Tesla supercharger. So this certainly can potentially save time if the EA station ha happens to end up being in a better location. Also, I should mention really quickly, um, this should work with all CCS chargers. I just typically will keep referencing Electrify America since that's the most common one as you road trip across the country. Certainly there'll be some charge points in EVGOs, EV Connect, all the other brands out there, but Electrify America is the most common one you'll run into. So now when we jump in here, we can click on the supercharger. It shows there's four stalls available. When I got here about five minutes ago, it was actually full. So. Um, that's another one. If Rather than waiting in line, you sometimes can run down the road, hit the EA station, and you'll be out quicker than if you had to wait in line to get to your supercharger. And then here, in my opinion, is one of the biggest ones. This is 37 cents a kilowatt hour to use this supercharger. Let's hop outside and see how much it costs to charge here. So, right here, you'll see our fees. We're only paying 31 cents a kilowatt hour. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. So big money savings as well. So basically any of those three options to me make this charger worth it. So for me, it was uh, definitely worth getting. Electron was able to hook me up with this one so I could share it with you. But uh, there's a couple different models out there. This is the one from Electron. Tesla has their own, but is much more expensive. So definitely save a few bucks with the Electron one. And I invite you to you know check the links in the description. Um, feel free to look at Electron's website and go to Tesla's website and look at theirs as well. And you'll see they look exactly the same. They have a little bit power difference. Um, this unit, I believe, is capped at about 120 kilowatts of peak speed. 
but that works for me because I'm, I'm not using it every single day. I'm using it in times of need. And so it's gonna work for me when I, when I wanna use it. So. so the trick I would advise in the future, especially if it's cold weather like this, is 33 degrees out here. So if you're road tripping in cold weather, route your route your car to a supercharger so it preconditions and then once you get and then once you get to this charger your battery will be warm so i failed to do that on the way here so that's why i've maxed out at 84 kilowatts certainly a great adapter to have for a trip because the more chargers you can use the more flexibility you have on your route planning all right so now i'm here in uh ogallala nebraska it's four degrees outside so i'm absolutely freezing I had shown you the charges that I've done with this adapter in St. Louis, or actually in Springfield on my way to, to and from St. Louis, and I was only getting 84 kilowatts. And it turns out that's because the charger was running a little slow. I looked on PlugShare a little deeper and saw that that charger was not healthy. But now I'm plugged in here at four degrees, and let's see what kind of charging speed we're getting. So come over here to the Electrify America screen and uh, press continue. And there we are, pulling 139 kilowatts right now at 17%. And we're doing it cheaper than it would be for the supercharger right across the street. So there you have it. The adapter works in so many different situations. It can work to get you to places where there might not be a supercharger. And then in places like this, when there's a supercharger across the street, but it's much pricier. So you come over here, plug in and save yourself some money. Okay, so officially at 86% unplugging. It was $7.67 to get 47 kilowatt hours of energy. That came out to just over 16 cents kilowatt hour. So pretty good, pretty affordable charging. It's basically what I pay at my house. I pay 14 cents at my house back in Chicagoland. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this content helpful, please like the video. If you're interested in this product and some other products that Electron offers, feel free to check out their website through the link below. They have a little bit of a discount code typically at their website. All their products are typically available on Amazon as well. So I'll have that linked below as well. But uh, check them out. I think uh, I've, I've used a few of their products now. I've used their J1772 to Tesla adapter. That allows you to charge a non-Tesla uh, at a de Tesla destination charger or with a Tesla mobile connector. I then have their V-Box 48 amp home charger, level two charger installed in my garage that's hardwired in. That's I think a really great value level two charging solution. And now I have the Tesla CCS adapter, which allows you to charge a Tesla at a CCS uh, charging station. So like I said, please do like the video if you, if you found it helpful. Please subscribe for lots more EV content, not just the Tesla here, but I have other road trips that I've done in the past. And uh, take care until next time.